the significance of the look at me video of me knocking out the teacher is because I was teaching a lesson, just in case you didn't catch on to that one. That one will probably be hard to catch. But it's all basically a part of the plan. It's a sequence, I'd like to say. Sorry, I didn't realize I didn't have any audio. Basically, what I was saying was the significance of the first part of the video with the look at me video with me beating up the teacher and knocking him out is basically saying I was teaching a lesson. So I just want you to know it was a part of the sequence of the video. Thank you very much. Hey, uh, one more thing, too, uh, about me hanging the child. If you don't remember, there's three people hanging in the beginning. There's three people. I'm 19. Emmett Till is 14. Philando Castile being in like his 20 or 30s. But we're also... Regardless of what you feel like your opinion is or regardless of what you feel like you know, you really don't know shit because you're going to be surprised of the outcome and I'm literally going to mind fuck all of you. Yes, I am playing. No, I am not serious. It's all a fucking joke. I don't it's give a fuck about it. It's something you're supposed to take seriously, but no matter how you look at it, the three, the three to four murders I showed in the beginning were murders done by supremacists that were real. That white boy is still alive. So the people that died in the video are real. Everyone is so bothered by the child being being lynched, but whether you realize it or not, the murders in the beginning are all real. Heather Hare, uh, Emmett Till, Philando Castile, these are real murders. This Caucasian child is still alive. It's art portrayal. Now, as far as the message, everyone feels like it's reverse racism, and really it's not. It's just reverse portrayal. So it's me basically putting the shoe on the other foot, showing another perspective. And there's a bigger message behind it, but I want you to perceive that for yourself. I just think it's important that the message is clearly received and that everyone understands that this is not a motive towards more racism. This is a motive towards equity. Just showing how it feels and how wrong it feels on the other, uh, basically on the Martin Luther other. King fought for equity with passively expressing his mind and passively walking through the streets and expressing himself. So matter, no matter how you look at this, this video is an art form. So I understand if you're bothered, obviously, by the child being hung because it, obviously it's done for shock value. I couldn't hang uh, a 40-year-old Caucasian man and get the same response. Because whether you realize it or not, a biracial child just a few days ago, where was well, they attempted to hang him, I don't know the story stemming behind it, but this is still going on. It's not in any shape or form a promotional method. It's just so I can emotionally bother you. It's supposed to bother you. It's supposed to make you feel wrong. It's supposed to make you feel fucked up. So that way you see what's going on. It's and it's really sad that no one feels the need to, to take a stand and make a difference. And the only way we're going to do that is if we put our heads together and really see the bigger picture. Man, let there be peace meetings. Let there, let there, let there be... Uh, moments, moments of uh, of rejoicing about the fact that obviously we're moving forward in, in this life. Let there be moments that we we basically appreciate our prosperity as people. If ever be, if everyone becomes unified and we start movements of unity, well, obviously the the hate will poke its head out. We're gonna see we're gonna see these people poke their heads out and try and ruin. They're gonna try and ruin the peace that we're keeping. And and then, but with that being said, um. I apologize to anyone I've offended within the last couple of hours. Obviously, you guys know I'm going through a lot just uh, due to this case and just with a lot going on. But I understand. I, I just want to express with that. I what I said yesterday, I mean, I don't retract my statement. I I'm, I mean, I, I like to be an asshole when I want to be an asshole. But I just want to show everyone that I'm not exactly what everyone thinks I am, you know? I've never felt the need to try and assert myself or to prove anything to anyone, but if I want to assert myself in my career or have my views respected, I realize that I have to treat everything with care and take time and have patience with people. Just picture this, trying to wake up every day uh, with a positive mindset, and you go on the internet and thousands of people are telling you to kill yourself and that you're a worthless nigger and that you're fucking stupid and calling you all types of fuck-ass shit. Sorry, not years, but, but centuries, millennials. I just want to be able to see the youth of this, of this generation, of future generations, be able to experience, obviously, what the previous so generations have experienced. Sometimes soon, and be able to, to not only cover my views as far as, um, as, far as the, the, the video and just my overall views, but just to explain myself to people and to give people the, the opportunity to understand me. And I understand we cannot evolute or elevate ourselves unless there's destruction in order for creation, but destruction in order for what? 
destruction in order for the prosperity of our people or destruction for just blatant destruction. In the end of the day, you don't have to like me because I understand the severity of the accusations that were made against me in the past. But regardless of that, you have to understand that I'm preaching a positive message no matter how you look at it. And that all I want for us as humans is to prosper. Again, genuinely, I apologize for not being as patient as I should be. Um, and I just want people to know that I'm not trying to lead their children down a, a, a dark a dark path. And that I really want something good for the human race. Hey, check it out, Tim. Check it out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear what you're saying, X. Now, if you guys don't know, X is finding out the hard way that, listen, a lot of times people will not respect the message if it's coming from the wrong messenger, okay? Now, X, after trolling a lot on social media, trivializing, in my opinion, which is a serious issue, domestic violence, also pretty much like just kind of being a little bit too vile online, he's realizing that when he drops a video, like, if you don't know, he dropped the Look At Me Now video, which is mixed with another song called Riot, and the video sends a strong message, okay? A socially conscious message that racism is not okay, that the injustices done to the black race is not okay, and also, if the shoe was on the other foot, it would be completely fucked up as well. Now, here's the thing. People have looked at the message, and of course, some people are a little bit confused, and he tries to explain why he's hanging a white kid in his video. However, a lot of people are saying, we don't want to see this shit from you, okay? And... He's kind of overcoming or trying to overcome people saying these things in light of all the recent stuff he's done. He's realizing that when people see him act a fool online, they don't want to hear a strong socially conscious message from him. Because they're looking at him like this imperfect soul can't help us or can't really teach us anything that someone else could teach us that has a clean image. Okay? Now, unfortunately, that's the case. People will judge the messenger with the message and I mean rightfully so because if you don't practice what you preach or if you're a complete hypocrite in one moment you're acting like this and you're acting completely irresponsible and completely immature I don't think you might be the person that we need to listen to okay and that's where he's kind of realizing that his message may be falling on deaf ears or maybe falling on the ears of people who say we don't want to hear this shit from you okay I hope he takes that in I hope he actually um, decides to do better in his own personal actions as he kind of alluded that he would. And also, just kind of show more maturity. A lot of people look into him and they're looking to him not only in moments when he wants to send a message, but they're looking at him overall. Get in the comments, make sure you guys like, then subscribe to Bullshack Academics. I'm out.